going on everybody welcome back to a new spin tires metroner video today we'll be playing on the uh, level cat map with the uh, uaz 3170 rebuild which looks like this and uh, we'll be checking out the map which looks like this all the way like that it's completely back up right now because there are a lot of cloaking uh, no watch points and uh, we'll be just checking out this map exploring it a little bit and uh, seeing what is what this is all about so without further ado let's jump straight into it oh pretty loud engine i didn't think it would be on this noise level since when i started it up it actually looked like it could be a reasonable uh, volume sadly that isn't the case <laughs> or it's not the worst but still a little bit annoying and would you look at that already the first vehicle with a um, catch attachment along with a watch point but I don't need that for now I'm gonna back up Hoping that I don't fall in the water. And we'll be uh, opening the map in a second. Alright, so that is the first part. Uh, we already encloaked. Let's set it to there. Next watch point. So I'm gonna have to go over here as it looks like and make a little. Uh, round on this island so it already starts off pretty interesting well I like but I like it so that's no problem see the oh, let's see the uh, interior view all right, pretty nice. Got some dials, fake ones, and there are real ones, but they don't work, as it looks like. Oh, and did I really just make a make a circle on this? I think I did. So I must have missed a uh, turn. At least I think so. Otherwise I have no clue how we're gonna get off this. And did I just really miss it? Oh, it looks like there is actually no way to get off this. Are you kidding me? No, here you can get off it. Let's go there. I think I'm not looking good enough there then. Pretty confusing. Should be somewhere here. Ah, here it is. Ah, so that's why I missed it. There isn't really a road between this part and uh, the other part. So if you're gonna play this map yourself, uh, make sure to not forget that. Because as you can see, I drove past it two times in a row and oh damn, please don't fall in the water. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Great start already. Um, I will restart this map. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, so we're on a bridge again where I messed up last time on the end. Uh, I hope I won't make the same mistake again. Alright. 
manage to do it. So let's see where we gotta go now. I already got the watch point which was over there. And I will set a waypoint to there. Gotta back it up I think. Because it's pretty tight turn. And we'll follow this road. See if we can get near that watch point. So far, a really interesting map though. Oh, and it's not the easiest. You gotta be, um, you gotta be careful because you can fall off any time by just one little mistake. And we also got another uh, watch point. So I will set a waypoint to there. I'm gonna make you turn and follow that road. Gonna back it up a bit and then make this turn. And that just went right, really tight. And looks like we're getting into some sort of uh, swamp, swamp, swampy area. Yeah, a little bit, kind of. Not really, but also not really a normal road. I like it though, a little bit of variation. But I hope we can get some more speed in this. Oh, I see. I'm off the road. Maybe there is more grip when I actually get on the path. And it doesn't look like it changes much. That's a bit of a bummer. Alright, so we have passed that. And let's follow this road about 150 meters or so away from the uh, watch point and another part with water. Let's see how this goes then. Oh, stalled it, of course. And the one only thing that's already a little bit annoying is, uh, as you can see, in the water this thing isn't really the best. It doesn't have a lot of traction it looks like, so it struggles to uh, get through it. So I hope the same thing won't happen when uh, we come, we come across uh, some deep mud in here. So far I haven't seen it, but you never know. Some maps can have it all of a sudden uh, a, a part of the map with real deep mud while the rest is like this. So it's always a bit tricky, but I don't think we'll get to our destination uh, going this route. We'll see though, maybe there's some kind of turn that will lead us up to it eventually. But definitely uh, not a bad map so far. And the vehicle is actually pretty nice as well, so I like that. Come on, let's get some speed. After it's slow for long enough now.
and there's actually another watch point which I didn't uh, set my waypoint to so that's pretty funny and we have gotten that and uh, let's look at the map alright it doesn't look like we're getting close to that right now anymore um, we are getting close to this one though so let's go there and see what we can find there I also like the uh, livery which is on this uh, truck is Y A three and then E A E T. I don't know what it is. U A Z. I see a uh, Russian flag if I'm correct. So maybe it's some kind of um, some kind of thing or course in Russian. I don't know. I'm not from Russian uh, from Russia myself. So I got no clue. And I have also no clue what it means. So if someone speaks Russian, maybe let me know what uh, the text on the vehicle means and for what it is. Pretty curious. Since it looks like to be made specifically for something like that. And I see already the watch point there. And also a house which is kind of underwater here. Unique place of living, but hey, some people like it, I guess. <laughs> it's not the only one. Alright, so almost a little village. Pretty funny. Okay, uh, let's open the map. Aha, uh -huh. so this is one swampy area. Uh, I will set a waypoint to that then and I will try and get uh, through the forest on the road take a little shortcut don't think that will hurt let's climb this hill please get traction come on climb this There we go. Alright, so a pretty powerful vehicle. And what do we have there? It is a uh, Zeal, as it looks like. With a uh, little trailer. Which I'm not going to use, neither. Because simply I don't need it. Because we found now about two vehicles. And uh, one as a... Uh, garage attachment which has two garage points if I'm right and then the other one would have one or two as well would be enough to unlock it if it has two garage points as well but uh, I'm not really feeling like driving both of those to the garage doesn't really matter too much to me but uh, let's keep going to this one and there are two um, blog posts so I'm pretty curious what's to be found here maybe some sort of train track and no train track no train track actually but it's a uh, normal road, so why not just do it for fun and take that road? I think we'll end up at our destination either way. So let's go here. Some nice off-roading is always nice. sort of valley type area here with a lot of cut trees so I'm guessing there will be some sort of uh, 
lumber mill around here. Oh god. My game froze for a bit there. And we sadly have totaled our vehicle. Can I maybe repair it? Nope. Sadly, I can't. Um, that's a bit of a bummer. But I will end this video here then. Um, I think it's, it's okay like this. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, I enjoyed this map. It was pretty nice. Some uh, good variation and I like the starting point. It's a bit different than normal maps do. And uh, the only thing you gotta watch out for is that you don't miss this part to get on the little bridge there. So that's pretty much it. Um, the vehicle is also pretty nice. Only is a little bit uh, easy to flip, as I flipped it twice in this video, but it doesn't matter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. If you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to leave a dislike. And uh, make sure to leave some constructive criticism down in the comment section below if you have any. Um, make sure to subscribe. If you have already and turn on your post notifications. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.